Hi everyone, I am going to react to Prince of Stride episode 6. And last episode, he joined the Stride team again. Um, Kyosuke, I did show this backstory of how he sort of like left this, this team before. Um, and uh, you had Hosumi thinking that it was because he is the one that broke Heath's like or whatever but once they told the full story and you know Heath went back and asked him to join and then they were waiting for this extra person to show up and they, they haven't actually like given the um the lineup of how they were gonna run and everything and then he showed up he's like he wants to join back in and they're like you took your sweet time and then they, they high-fived and oh, oh, that was such a feel good moment i loved it so before we get into this episode, if you guys have my reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and please consider supporting me on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Mini. And now, let's start this episode. Here we go. Okay, guys, in case the reaction gets blocked and I had to cut out the reaction itself, you can just look in the pinned comment in the comment section where for the link to the reaction highlight itself. So you can just click on it, watch it, and then you just come back for my review. That is that gonna be is that's not gonna fit him, right? Exactly. <laughs> yep. It's not completely back yet. We need the older brother also to come in. Well, is it good to have the two brothers on the same team? Well, he's back. I hope they beat this guy, Mr. Joker. Whatever. I don't trust you. Girl, don't fall for I don't know his fake house or whatever <laughs> she's your kind of whatever that's not like whatever <laughs> team connect emotions become the wind Can y'all stop asking that? What the freak? What the heck is up with these people? Your princess. <laughs> That's my boy. Don't be looking at him. He's trying to psych you out. That guy doesn't look like someone that plays fair and square. Like last year? What happened last year? See, they got he got into his her mind. Oh, is he talking about the what happened and Heath got hurt.
Thank you. I am so tired. I am so tired of them bringing this thing up like all the time. And unfortunately, it affects him. Mm -hmm. He got it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Somebody told me that it was him. Shame them. Shame them. Oh, she's repeating the same thing that you would just say. I wish I had the ability to like reach into my screen and slap him. Because you're getting on his nerves. I completely forgot that there was one, <laughs> one really left. <laughs> go, my boy. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Mm hmm
Oh my god. <sighs> yes, you did. In your face. Yep. Yep. We saw you. Go ahead. For you. Uh, I love this episode. It was such a feel good episode, man. Like such a feel good episode. And I hit it. That relationer. The Ishijokan relationer. Oh my gosh. Like when he first showed up in the episode and then he started speaking rubbish to everyone there. I'm like Like I wanted our team to beat them like clean. And then you know how when they are like relationing you have the two relationers sitting side by side and sometimes they let what the other relationer is doing affecting what they are doing how they are calling the shots and i'm like don't focus on what this guy is going to be saying because i'm i'm sure that he i was sure that he was going to say something to mess up whatever sakurai was thinking of doing or whatever and even before the match actually started and they were there sitting there by themselves that he mentioned the incident last year and then he left and you can see that working on sakurai and then ayumu just came and then he gave this amazing speech and like all that anxiety or whatever left her i'm like yes and then they started this match oh first of all it, you know how they be pairing all the um the runners and be, they'll be saying this and I feel like I keep saying this, but I really hate, like it gets on my nerves, when people compare Riku and his brother, like it gets on my nerves, especially when I know that it's gonna affect him when he starts running. I feel like this has to be an episode where he has to confront that part of it because he can't keep letting it affect the way he runs. And that's what that guy did at first, so I was already pissed off. But then he was able to, you know, tag, uh, who came after? I think it was Heath. Yeah, Heath that came after. He was able to tag Heath. Heath. And then Heath was going to tag Kyosuke. And then that relationer mention the fact that the, the trauma that happened like you can't just like get over your trauma like that and i'm like okay heath and w were they like in the same position was heath and K kuga were they supposed to tag last year and that's how he got hurt i feel like that's exactly what happened and they were in the same position now and then when he mentioned the trauma and then you see um Sakurai, it affected Sakurai and she started worrying about Heath colliding with Kuga and then he, she told him to like slow down and I was so glad 
so happy when he understood what that meant like he knew that she was afraid of that but she didn't like i don't know if she if he if he understood that it was the other yeah, revolutionary that was manipulating her or something or other i don't think he understood that part of it but the fact that sakura told him to slow down i feel like he connected that immediately with the fact that he was running so fast the last time and that's how he, he got hurt but he's like uh -uh, i'm just gonna like power through this and then they went and they tagged out so happy when he he uh, um the that yeah the relation he expected when sakura told he to slow down that he was gonna slow down but no he sped back up and that got this guy like off his he, like he just started going bonkers and just like yelling out at his teammates and why aren't you listening to me like it's all your fault and then when um sakura tried to get this guy to like understand what this tribe is about and he called her like he, he got on my nerves so much like i just I, I really wanted to slap him like a double slap back and forth right over there so like i really wanted to do that but you know i can't because it's anime <laughs> it's not real life <laughs> but yeah so kuga went you know was running and then he had to tag in hosmi and hosmi was still hung up on the fact that kiyosuke you know like he's supposedly was trying to protect the club and all that like he still was hung up on it and then the person that he was running against just that strode him straight like he noticed that he wasn't totally focused on the match on his opponent or whatever and he's like if whatever trauma that you are like dealing with right now is gonna affect how you're gonna run then like just like go away or whatever but yeah he got over it <laughs> He got over it and then they're like even as he was running oh ayumo was also running um um alongside um kuga telling him to like keep keep going keep going and then um the their coach had to stop him along the way but yeah then he went and then he tagged um hosmi and then hosmi went and he tagged um takeru I still have trouble remembering the names or like on like that. It takes me a second to remember also. <laughs> and he tied Takeru and Takeru just like pew. He just kept running and 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 running. Then he like, yay, we won. <laughs> and I love that scene at the end there when they were all like after they all like got together and then they were like high fiving each other and then he came to Hosumi and Kyosuke. Kyosuke was like this, it was waiting for Hosumi, and then the others were like, just give him the biggest uh, high five, whatever, with all your feelings. And he hit him so hard <laughs> that he said he was hurting. That was so cute. And then at the end, there, um, since um, Kyosuke is now part of the club officially now now he has to do the photo shoot things <laughs> that the others are doing with the sister and he was so cool of course i love how he re like he refers to the wind how he speaks about the wind like he's a like a character in the show and like oh, the wind is this and no, no. i don't know I, I just i love it i love whoever voices his voice i love his voice too i feel like he's probably somebody that i already know that voice other characters that I already know well that I love but I guess I'll have to check out whoever voices him and figure out who who he reminds me of but I love the voice actor for him um what else mm -hmm. there's so much I'm just glad that they won that, 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 that was my thing because I really hate it I really hate it that relationship <laughs> really hated him so the fact that they won against him and he didn't understand anything even after the match ended and sakura was like he's he was gonna they were gonna keep showing everybody what how is the stride stride thing how stride is all about connecting feelings and all that people running together or something or other 
the guy still didn't get it. His face just annoyed me, man. This episode, like, he don't know me. I hate him. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like this reaction, please give it a thumbs up to subscribe. And if you want to see the next episode right now, you can do so by checking out my Patreon at patreon.com slash fellowmini. And you can also see the full link for this reaction there as well. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.